everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel Golden Dragon Games. I am your host, Rocky2815, but please just call me Rocky. And today we are back for day two of opening the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar. Ba 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 ba. I couldn't resist doing the Imperial March theme, even though that was absolutely rubbish, and I'm pretty sure I'm tone deaf. So, anyway. Let's go in for the close-up of opening the door, and uh, hopefully not rip it so much like um, day one, as you can see. Okay, time to open door uh, number two, and hopefully we can open it a bit better than yesterday. And we got it, and we got it, 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 ladies and gentlemen. And this time we haven't ripped it. What is it today? It's a mini version of the Pit of Carcoon from Star Wars Episode 6, which goes along nicely with our Day 1 item, which was a miniature micro-scale version of Jabba the Hutt's Sail Barge. As everybody knows, the Pit of Carcoon is the thing that eats Boba Fett. Yeah, what a way, Jango Fett, Boba Fett's father got his head chopped off by Mace Windu in episode 2, Attack of the Clones, and then uh, Boba Fett gets um, eaten by a giant pit monster in the desert. Who knows how the next bounty hunter's going to go in Star Wars, Hey, Right, let's get this thing out now. And here are all the pieces. I'll just switch to my other camera review and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, everybody, I'm back. And now let's open the pit of car cool. And it was was it just me there or did my voice go really sinister and evil? Oof. Hopefully that never happens again. Right, so, we've got all our pieces here. How do we build it? Let's have a look. First of all, we take our one by one round brown stud. And I believe it goes one, two, right here. Then, we take a cheese slope, free to be exact, of the cheese slopes, no idea why they're called this, and then, oh no, almost forgot one, we place it here like so, I'm actually trying to read the instructions at the same time while talking, this is really hard, like literally, so put that like that, uh, sorry, uh, should I show you gold clip piece, goes in between the sand bits, just get this other gold clip piece, and we need four of those, which luckily we have, and they all go around the brown stud, which you can't actually see at the moment, but is a better view, so basically your build should look like this if you are following along. Take the clear one by one stud square tile piece. Put that there. Is there anything else we need to do? Yes, we need to attach the teeth to the beast. This mini monster. And oops, I put that the wrong way. I do actually have the uh, Pit of Carcoon set. I might do um, a comparison just to see, you know, because obviously bigger scale, this is micro, to see how they did with taking it from such, you know, big to small style. And there we go. Got some extra pieces here, but we've pushed these out of the way, and there we go. One bit of carcoon. See you back in a sec to 
outro this video and put this little one in day number two. Okay, I'm back and let's place our Peter Carcoon in the... <laughs> Dropped it there. Day number two. So, that is all for today. I will see you all tomorrow for day three of our LEGO Star Wars 2015 special advent calendar. I hope you have all enjoyed this video and I hope you remember to leave a like, favourite, share the video with as many people as you can, comment and if I haven't already said this, subscribe. Also, before I do the last bit of my outro, I'd just like to make a special announcement. Even though I'm not doing a Minecraft Advent Calendar Adventure Map, I'm still doing a special Minecraft video. I said I was going to start up doing mod reviews again, but, well, it's going to be sort of a journey adventure to get the, to the place in the land of Minecraft here, where we're actually going to do the mod reviews, and episode one is part of the journey, but episode one cannot happen without your people's lovely help. I need one female and one male voice actor, and um, the only requirement I would say is have a good quality microphone and that's about it. So yes, what characters would you be voicing if you decided you wanted to be a part of this? Well, for female lead roles, there is the elf girl, which I haven't named quite yet, but I'm in the process of coming up with a name. Also, Gretel, as in Hansel and Gretel. So, obviously, well, the male voice actor, I want to be voicing the male elf, which is like a partner to the female elf. And again, I have not kept come up with a name for the boy elf yet. And also, the same person to be the voice of Hansel. So, basically... If you want to be a part of this, and you're a guy, you'll be the voice of the boy elf and Hansel. If you are a girl, you will be the voice of the female elf and Gretel. Because, now, why do I have Hansel and Gretel in this special video coming up? And I know this video is probably overrunning, because it's a Lego video, but I thought I'd take this time to actually say all of this and rather do a vlog. But anyway, so why do I have Hansel and Gretel in this Minecraft adventure? Because I've been watching the series this year called Once Upon a Time and Hansel and Gretel were in that and I loved it so much. And I thought it's near Christmas, Hansel and Gretel is actually an original fairy tale. I thought I put Hansel and Gretel with Minecraft and put it into one sort of video and the name of it of the series is called Minecraft Dragon Labs Mod Adventures Episode 1's name will be The Blind Witch of Gingerbread Lane <laughs> and I'm actually going to be doing the voice of the witch and every other character but uh, that's going to take a lot of time and effort of course hence why I need two people being you know like I said already female voice actor to be Gretel and girl elf and a guy to be the boy elf and Hansel so that takes, you know, four characters off of me. I'm in the process of writing the script. So when the script is done, I will announce that and that will be good. I should have it done by the end of this week, hopefully. Um, 
But yes, if you want to contact me about this, the best thing to do is probably either private message me here on YouTube, there's like a little mail symbol on YouTube, or you can just contact me on Twitter just by sending a normal tweet, or just put in the comment section down below, and then, you know, we can work things out from there. But, remember, the one thing you must have is good quality microphone. But anyway, I've been rambling on for way too long, making this video way too long, and I've probably bored you all to death. Possibly, hopefully not. That would be bad, just before Christmas. Um, also, hopefully, I hope everything I've said about what I'm asking makes sense. If it doesn't, I tell me in the comment section down below and I will make a special video just dedicated to that. All for watching. Till next time, stay golden, stay frosty, and bye -sies.